Are you brave enough for happiness? In the simplest form, no. At least I don't think so. And not yet. But in the most poetic form, I think I'm not made to yet. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy in abundance, but there's a very clear difference between being brave within it and being born with it. From birth, I've carried juxtapositions. Like happiness on my right and sadness on my left, and right in between them both, you find my face smiling in complete reverence at the fact that I sleep and wake up completely split in the middle with everything else. Like whether I should pray or go on my phone, or whether I should throw my phone away and go into complete silence, or just leave the city overall and buy land surrounded by greenery, or just go back home and never come back. That's actually the end goal. But anywho, that's just a summary of where I place my happiness. So where I could ever place a sense of bravery to get there? Because if I actually ever got to complete one of these things, I'd probably stop basing my happiness on percentages. I often cap at 65, and I usually explain it this way. Anything above 50 means I am alive and breathing and willing to keep moving. 65, though, it's, it's often when I'm just on remote breathing and feeling with essences of joyful living, the cycle is looped on my conditions designed to keep teething the newness of life as it comes and goes. But I say this so often, I wonder if I know anything else. If I would even know what a difference 10% could feel like if it sat me across the face, I believe that 65 plus 10 would give me 75, right? It's just another comfort of comfort, but one I don't have to look over a cliff and worry for. What may find me below, I would just free flow. Just jump and believe God's will will take the will. I reached 70 once. And I'm telling you, the air felt different. Whenever I inhaled, I would exhale an air so sweet it would smell like sugar slow burn. Resting at the consistency of gold when burned at the right point, the true essence and resemblance of the feeling. Living my life like it's Nothing could actually defeat me during that time until something went wrong and I can't remember what, and then I was back to 65. And that's how I know that 75 would be the percentage where I lose pressure. I just stop boiling. My bones would turn to jelly. My tension would lay on my, wouldn't lay on my shoulders. And falling from a cliff would just turn into my pastime because I would already know the safety that would come from my fall would trust in the most high. See what I did there? And so the question presses itself again. I am I brave enough? for happiness because what that moment taught me was how subjective bravery really is in anything. And that maybe I am brave for it, but I'm just not opening myself up to it enough to be it. Clearly I was able to tap into the superheroine side of me, so where is she now? Because clearly she lives in me, so. I'd imagine that 100% feels like absolute nothing. Have you ever wondered what feeling like nothing can feel like? It doesn't even sound real, and I almost feel like I need to be brave in accepting that my end goal in this life would be to have a moment where I care for nothing and have nothing to do with it. It sounds so liberating, but before I can get there, I have to do something before I can do nothing. The game is rigged, honestly. It's almost like we need problems to keep us alive. And that's where to Arcadia. He just plays too many games, clearly. Because <laughs> that's the man who should really be telling me that bravery comes with the comes with virtual adventures that unfold on a screen. But I guess that would mean he is suggesting I play life like a video game. And there's no real bravery in that, really. 
as we all know, virtual living only plays a role in virtual existences, and I actually like holding a physical pen to mark my living, so I respect the quote I was given, love you bro. It's really time to start reading my Bible, because these times are, shh, goodness. <laughs> it's like I get excited not knowing what will break me and what will fix me, but of course the main goal is to reach nothing, and I still have a while to get there, so I have to keep my living exciting somehow, right? So the question persists on, am I brave enough? for happiness and in all honesty I don't think so at least not yet but in the most poetic form I hope you all understand that clearly I need to cross Juxtaland before I get there I just don't think I'm made to yet I'm kind of 